Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this overhanging beam. So how to find out the support reactions for a such overhanging beam with uniformly distributed load of 4 kN per meter. And here are some of the dimensions. The length of the beam which is unloaded is 5 meter and the loaded portion of the beam is a length of 3 meter. So we will start with the naming of the supports with A and here is a B support. So it can take both the vertical reaction are A here and it will be RB here. This is our assumption that these both support reactions will act in upward direction in order to take the vertical load that is coming on the beam which is 4 kN per meter. So how to find out the support reactions? There is no horizontal load on the beam. That's why the horizontal part of this reaction will be equal to zero because it's a hinge support and it can take the horizontal reaction but in this case it will be equal to zero because there is no horizontal load acting on the beam and here roller support cannot take any load that's why it is only one vertical reaction which is rb so to start with the support reactions we will take let's suppose summation of moment at any point equal to zero and we are assuming the summation of moment at point b equal to zero here at this point at the roller support and we will take the clockwise movement let's suppose is positive and then the clockwise let's suppose is negative so we will start movement about point b so let's suppose this load is acting like in this direction about point b in the clockwise direction so it will be in clockwise so it will be positive so r a multiplying with the moment of Moment arm is the distance from A point up to the point where you want to find the moment. So it is 5 meter from A to B it is 5 meter. Because moment is basically force into moment arm. So force is the load which is reaction RA and moment arm is the perpendicular distance between the point of interest and from where the force is acting. So it is from A from this point up to this point which is 5 meter. Now the other load that creates a moment about point B is this load 4 kN. And it's also act here in this direction, in the clockwise direction, so it will be again positive. So 4 multiplied by 3, because on 3 meter it is distributed, multiply by the moment arm. Now, if we convert this load into pointed load, so it will act here at the center. A center means 3 divided by 2, 3 meter divided by 2, which will be 1.5 meter. So 1.5 meter is the moment arm. This is moment arm and this is the load, if. So it also creates the moment about point B in the clockwise direction. So again, positive summation of all the moment about point B equal to zero. So now we will shift this value onto the right side. So 5RA. So now it will become negative if we shift this value onto the right side. So it will be minus 18 kilonewton. So RA comes out to be, if we divide this, so we got minus 3.6 kilonewton. Now what does this mean by minus? This is very important here. That we have a minus sign minus sign shows that our assumed direction of this one is wrong so we have to change this direction so i have to remove this and we have to change this minus means that our assumed direction was wrong and now this is acting downward so this was the first support reaction ra now to how to find out the rb here so we will use this equilibrium condition summation of all the forces equal to zero summation of all vertical forces equal to zero so we will take all the vertical forces so r let's suppose the upward forces are positive the downward forces are negative here so the downward forces are a is this one is negative so this is minus r a r b we assume it is acting in upward direction so it is positive plus r b and again, this force is acting in a downward direction, so it will be again minus 4 multiplied by 3 equal to 0. So now we know that our A is 3.6 kN. So now minus our A means minus our A value is 3.6 here. So 3.6 plus our B minus 12 equal to 0. So we will shift the value on the right side. So our B comes out to be this will become positive and this will also become positive. So 12 plus 3.6. So RB comes out to be 15.6. So it means this support reaction here acting is 15.6. And this support reaction is 3.6 kN. 
So now how to verify that the support reactions we determine was correct or not? So we'll find out all the vertical forces equal to zero. So it will 3.6 ejecting in downward direction. So it is for example negative 3.6, then 15.6 ejecting in upward direction. So plus 15.6. And then again, this force is also acting in downward direction, minus 4 multiplied by 3 equal to 0. So if we add these values and subtract these values, will become this 3.6 and this 12 will become minus 15.6 and this is plus 15.6. So 0 is equal to 0. It means that our support reactions that we determine were correct. So this was also one of the proof to show that either our support reactions that we determine were correct or not. So hope you guys understand the today lecture and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.